aware of that are uh, things that I hope that you'll be able to attend. On Monday, November 26th, the theater department will be presenting its one-act play that we are taking to district festival, as well as its individual events. That is a private event, but for those of you who are uh, parents and or Arts Alliance members, we hope to see you there. That will be in this theater at 6.30 that night. We conclude that week then with our annual Lessons and Carols, which will be held at the Claremont Performing Arts Center on Saturday, December 1st. Two performances, 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. Again, everyone in the conservatory is going to be heavily involved in that, as well as our annual soloist, Ben Gully, and a new soloist this year, Hoytzman Lahodia, which I think you are going to find is a welcome addition and really made the concert even more special than it's been before. On December 4th, we will have a middle school program here in this uh, auditorium as well. The middle school thespians, joined by the middle school choir, have been working on the musical 21 Chump Street, which is a musical that was written by Lynn Manuel Miranda, and we are going to be performing that at the Junior Thespian Districts on the 8th of December here in Orange County. So I think that's really something that you would enjoy seeing. Their youthful energy in putting this on is really fun to watch. So we do have a lot of things coming up in the very near future that we hope that you will be a part of. Now, for our opera tonight. Uh, the opera is Bastien and Bastiana. It is a Mozart opera. It's a comic opera written as a Singspiel in German. This particular opera was written in 1768. It was written when Mozart was but 12 years old, if you can imagine that effect. It is a short opera in one act, and it is rather light in nature. In its original form, it involved the shepherdess Bastiana, who was madly in love with her boyfriend Bastien. Only she thought that Bastien was not paying her enough attention at that time. So, at that point, she talked to the town soothsayer, Madame Colas. And Madame Colas said that he just had a wandering eye, if you will, and was distracted, but he really did still love her. Nevertheless, she became involved with a few magical spells and brought the two back together. And as most sayings go, they lived happily ever after. Now, you'll see behind me, this doesn't look much like a shepherd or a shepherdess or a mountain village, but our artistic team tonight has transformed this into a modern adaptation in the amazing Barnes and Goble coffee shop, where Bastiana is now a barista and probably serving Starbucks coffee, right? <laughs> because what would a barista be without a fine beverage to serve? In our instance tonight, it still involves Bastiana and Bastiana and the same sort of love troubles that they had, but instead of a Tom soothsayer, we have a psychic who happens to be on a book signing tour. I think you'll enjoy the adaptation tonight. I know that it will be a fine performance you'll enjoy. I thank you for being here. And now, without further ado, Maestro Klassen.
can't pay you. Then pay me in free coffee. No one seems to be the problem. Well, you see, my boyfriend, Bastion, is going to leave me for somebody else. Oh no, dear. I see he loves you very much. Then why did he cheat on you? He hasn't been unfaithful. Fickle, yes. He's at that age and he's somewhat of a materialist. I see he likes the finer things in life. And some other girl is giving him finer things. <laughs>
doesn't love her and he will come back. You just have to loosen up a little. Maybe be a little frivolous yourself. You've got to be kidding me. But how am I supposed to do that? I can hardly talk around you. What I mean is you have to play the game. Make him think you're interested in someone else. The way to get love back is to go in the opposite direction. You leave him. <laughs> Good job. 
No way. She belongs to me. She said to herself. <laughs> yeah, Bastiana would never give her heart to some other guy. She might not give it up, but she could let it be too. Yeah, don't. 
say goodbye. If this is your goodbye, then let us say goodbye. Why aren't you going? I'm so sick, I'm going, going. If what you say is true, and someone else takes you, then I guess you are through. His heart stops by the thought she love another one. He suffers as he ought for all the wrong he's done. For all the wrong he's done. Bastion, Bastion. Yes, what is it? Why? Whatever it is.